This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can delete the white background from an image using Procreate for the iPad. So as you can see here, I already have my example image opened up here in Procreate. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the entire document. And the first thing I want to do is open up the Layers menu and turn off the visibility of the background layer. So let's tap on this little Layers menu icon in the top right corner. And where it says Background Color, I'm just going to uncheck that box right there so that it makes the image transparent beneath the image layer. And then I can tap on that Layers icon again to close out of that. So in order to delete the white background from this image, I'm going to have to create a selection around the white area. So to do that, let's grab the selection tool, which is over here in the top left corner of the screen, this little S icon. And in the settings down here at the bottom of the screen, we have all of these different settings, as you, as you can see. I want to choose automatic, and I want to make sure I have add selected as well down here at the bottom left. And once you do that, take your pencil or your finger and hold a tap over the white area of the image, and then slide it either left or right. Now, if you notice, as I slide it to the left, it decreases the threshold of the selection, whereas if I slide it to the right, it increases the threshold. So you want to make sure that you're sliding this according to your image here. Now, if, if, if you notice here, if I bring this down too much, it includes too much of the white background around the uh, perimeter of the object there. If I bring it too far to the right, it includes, it grabs too much of the object there in addition to the white background. So I want to find that sweet spot, which is... For this image, it looks like it's right about, maybe right about here. That's going to be different for every image, but for, for this image, it looks like it's right about here. Uh, now, if you notice down at the bottom here, there's still some white areas left at the bottom of the mango there, and in the negative space between the leaf and the mango over here at the top. That's okay. We're going to go back and correct that in just a minute. Once you've created that selection, though, just tap on this little wrench icon in the top left corner. Come, down, come over here to where it says Add and tap on Cut. And what that's going to do is it's going to delete that white area from your image, and then we can just close out of that. Okay, so now we have this leftover fragmentation here, like over here and over here in the negative space. So let's go ahead and address that. We just, we just basically want to repeat the process on that area. So let me grab the selection tool again, hold a tap over that white area, slide it left or right to increase or decrease the threshold. I think that right there looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Tap the wrench icon once again and tap on cut and there you go now we can close out of that now let's come down here and fix this area right here at this point you may be better off just grabbing the eraser and, and using a small hard brush to go through there and erase that out i'm going to show you how to do this with the selection tool regardless so let me let me see if this works well enough there we go right about there looks good let me come back up here to the wrench icon Tap on cut. There you go. Now it's gone. And for this over here, I'm not even going to bother with the uh, selection tool. I'm just going to grab an eraser. I'm going to grab the eraser. I'm going to tap on it again. I want to use like a medium hard blend. Um, well, actually for this, you might want to use a hard blend. Close out of the eraser. Take the brush size and bring it all the way down. You want it to be like a single pixel in size. And then you can just go through here. Let me just adjust this a little bit. You can just go through here and erase this white area out of here like that. Okay, so there you go. And if you want to be really meticulous, you can go through here and soften up all of those edges to make it look a little more refined. I'm not going to get into that in this tutorial. I just wanted to show you the basics of how this is done. One last thing I wanted to address over here, if you zoom in, if you notice, the selection grabbed a part of the apple right there. So in order to correct that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold a tap over an area of the fruit right there. Well, not the apple, the mango. I'm going to hold a tap with my finger over that area right there to select a nearby color that's similar like that. And now I have that color selected up here in my color picker. And now I can grab the paintbrush. I can use just a regular brush, any old brush really. Bring the size all the way down. You might want to have that at one pixel. And then just go in here and just sort of do like a little bit of repair work, as you would say. Let me try this color right here. And again, to choose the color, I'm just holding a tap over the area. And then it grabs that color automatically. Let me use a different brush for this. Okay, so at this point, I think it's safe to say I'm finished deleting the uh, white background from this image here. As you can see, we have successfully deleted that white background. If you want now, you can export this as a PNG image. You can just come over here to the wrench icon, and you can go to Share. And you want to make sure you export this as a PNG, where it says Share Image. Make sure you choose PNG from that list. 
Otherwise, the transparent background will not be preserved. You'll end up with a, if you use JPEG, you'll end up with a white background or some other default color. So uh, that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about deleting the white background from an image using Procreate for the iPad. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.